Hello folks, and welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario 3D World. So the last episode we left off, we just finished up World 1, and now we're diving into World 2. So this time we're actually playing as Princess Peach. Like I said, I was going to switch it up every now and then. So of course we still got our awesome cat suit, because, what can I say, the cat suit's amazing. I mean, I can sit here and tell you that the cat suit is like, uber amazing, but you have to play the game for yourself to understand. I also found out that when I'm playing this game, well actually before playing this game, I should actually, you know, recharge my Wii U gamepad. It might be a good idea because this is the second time it almost died on me during this recording. Fantastic. So yeah, we got a first introduction to the sand level. Uh, you got a little sand there and you got these little, uh, I don't know, they look like, uh, flamingos. They look like flamingos to me, so, flamingos, not flamingo. Yeah. So yeah, that interesting little uh, hidden pipe up here, which is just gonna net you some uh, free coins and some extra lives. So come over here, and they all fall into a pit. Oh, uh, see, I would hop down there, but I'm afraid that you know it is an instant death trap. <laughs> I mean, that sign right there kind of tells you it's an instant death trap, but I believe since it's just kind of you know taped on there like that. That might just be a trick. So, I don't know, I'll have to go back and experiment that. So, actually, in this recording, I actually died once, and I missed a green star. But what I'm going to do with the green star, if I miss out on one, I'm going to to uh, add a clip at the end of the uh, next episode, just to show you uh, where it is. Or maybe at the beginning of the next episode, I'll show you where the uh, green star I missed out on. Like I said, I'm going to have times when I'm going to miss out on the green star, and that's okay. Um, the lower levels, they get a little tricky to find, and you have to have the right power-up sometimes to get it, so you gotta be, like, really tricky. But yeah, when I die, it's like a really stupid part. You'll see it when it comes up. So we got some interesting moving platforms here. Yeah, not too difficult. Like, this level's not too difficult, as long as you know what you're doing. You know, just keep calm. I think I get hit here and I lose my cat power, which is dumb. But what can you do? Really, what can you do? So come over here and knock that guy out of the way. I like how they set this up right here. You gotta be really, like, tricky and fast. Because those guys will come down and wreck you. Like, right there. And, of course, some more coins. Um, I believe this level actually has an interesting little, uh, power-up. That you might have seen in the, um, one of the 3DS games. I believe it's the newer 3DS game. Where the whole purpose of the game was to get, like, as many coins as you possibly can. I forget the name of it off the top of my head. So, like, you know, excuse me if I don't know my Mario game so well. I'm just slowly getting back into Mario games. I actually had this urge to play Sonic games lately, too. And they're not bad ones, like Sonic 06. I mean, good ones. So, yeah, if you hit this coin block a lot, you get that. An interesting little coin block pops in your head, and it just shoots out coins everywhere. I love that. You look so interesting when running around with that on. You can also still use your cat powers. That's really cool as well. It would kind of suck if like, you do a flip. And, you know, it flies off your head. But yeah, rescue a uh, little Captain Toad here. And he'll give you the last green star you need for this level. See, it's not too difficult. It's like I said, the later levels tend to get really difficult about the, uh, the green stars. And you have to get creative with it. And that's what I like about this game, is the fact that it gets really creative where they place the green stars at. Like I said, this is probably one of the uh, best-selling best uh, Wii U games currently. Next to maybe Wind Waker HD. But seriously, the Wii U needs some love. I still think it's a great console. It might not have all the amazing third-party titles that everybody wants, like Call of Duty and all that stuff. But like I said, it's a Nintendo console, man. The main focus is going to be those Nintendo games. I'm excited for the next Z Legend of Zelda game. I'm excited for Hyrule Warriors. Um, the new Donkey Kong game I'm really excited for. I definitely want to try Wonderful 101 and Sonic Lost World. So uh, there's still a lot of great games for the console that you can still try. I mean, I hope sooner or later, you know, companies will start to realize, hey, maybe we should add, you know, some third-party titles on this console. It's just people got to hop on board, I think. So yeah, this is uh, one of the Miiverse connection things for the game. Where you can turn on ghost Miis and little Miis that pop up all throughout the map. Um, I turn that off because I hate ghost Miis. 
I hate them so much. I screw you over so bad in this game. So this is the level I die at, because I'm an idiot. But I'll die too close to the end, so I have to go back and get all the stars again. Or like two. But yeah, interesting mechanic here. Uh, those platforms, you have to touch the uh, Wii U gamepad for them to pop up. Which I like that. I actually like that about this game. You have to use a Wii, uh, Wii gamepad. It's like a touch screen. It is a touch screen, pretty much. <sighs> but yeah, I love that about this. Now, what's, you know, the only thing I have, the only problem I have with the Wii U currently is, um, <laughs> when I'm playing a game, and the game will be on the the gamepad as well, I get distracted, I start looking at the gamepad instead of the television. <laughs> That's my only, like, little complaint about the system. Other than that, I actually like the system. I'm not, like, a humongous Nintendo fanboy. Actually, I'm not a fanboy for anything, because I have consoles of every, uh, generation, different companies. I have an Xbox 360, I have a PS3, I have a Wii, I have a Wii U. All that stuff, but I always tend to, you know, drift more towards the Nintendo consoles because they always have the games that I really like. But like I said, I'm not a Nintendo fanboy. Um. So yeah, like I said, I like the gamepad. The gamepad is a very, very interesting mechanic to a console. Like I said, I love watching YouTube off it as well. That's a plug. Maybe. I don't know. But yeah, we're going through this level pretty easily. Now we got an interesting mechanic coming up right here, too. I actually showed you during the uh, Captain Toad level. Is you have to blow into the gamepad to make the platform rise up. So yeah, this becomes kind of a thing for this level. That and the uh, touching the platform to make them pop out. Like, like, that's what I like about this. Like, so far they're showing you all the gimmicks of the game and getting you used to them. What's really cool here is I actually show them after I die uh, coming up soon. I show you again. If you if you keep blowing into the game pad, you can blow the uh, little tiny goombas off the screen. I love that. Gotta keep that going. So yeah, pretty simple part right here. Just blow into the game pad. You're all good. You're good. And we're gonna take another cloud journey because I love these levels. It just lets you go crazy with the speed. Grab a star. I remember the one time I did this, I actually fell off the cloud right at the beginning and I cried. I was like, really? Really? But like I said, I came back and did it again. And grab that green star and flip all the way down. I love how they do like, little flips in the air. It kind of brings me back to uh, Super Mario World, Super Mario 3 for the uh, Nintendo. Because if you've ever played that game, I'm not sure how many of you actually played it. I, I hope you played it, because it's a fantastic Mario game. Um, every time you get the star power, and like your big Mario, he does a flip in the air instead of just jumping. I love that. I love when the characters do flips. I don't know, it just looks fancy. So yeah, another hidden star here. You actually have to blow into the gamepad to make the uh, platform appear, because it doesn't show you it's there. So yeah, when you're playing this, you get to that part, do it. This is where I mess up. This is why I mess up, folks. Look how dumb this is. So I'm like, okay, I put a platform there. There. Actually, it's coming up right here. Because I blow into this. And I screw it up big time. So I'm like, wait, crap, platforms. I was like, let, let me get that. No, 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 no. And dead. Too bad. And it's my first death. It's going to happen, folks. It's going to happen. If I, if I keep dying in a level or something like that, I'll just edit out the part and, you know, just continue on with it. Like I said, I showed you the, my first death because, hey, why not? And plus, I'm lazy. But if it keeps happening in a level or if I die too many times during it, I'll just start editing out all the death. I'll probably do that if... No, I'll just do that if I die a lot, yeah. Not if I die like once or twice, because I don't really see a point to editing out one death. You're going to die in a video game, folks. You're not perfect. So anyway, we're going to go back to the awesome level of cloudiness. I can do this part like nine billion times over again. It's more amazing as the cat uh, suit power-up. I just love it. I love it. I hope my commentary is good, guys. I'm, I'm working really hard to get my commentary to improve. I'm trying not to talk too fast, and I'm trying not to mess up my words, but that tends to happen. See, that's the thing I don't like about commentaries. Like, 
when I'm talking to my friends or I'm talking to people, I'm fine. I can talk normally. But when I do commentary, I freeze up and I'm like, don't know what to say. Nyeh. Nyeh. So, I don't know. If you guys have any, like, you know, suggestions to help me with a commentary, I'd be, gl I'd be glad to hear them all. I will listen to everything. If you have any critiques, anything like that, send them my way. You want to send them in the comment section, send me a PM, go right ahead. I'm working on my best to improve my commentary and my video style. Um, I've been away from LP for a while, actually. And I'm just slowly getting back into it. But anyway, I'm rambling on about stupid stuff. Who cares anymore? Let's talk about the game. Anyway, we finished up the level. Course clear. Also, another cool thing about this game is if you have the uh, Wii Miiverse thing going on right now, um, little like uh, pic pictures people draw and they take and stuff and they, what they do with the stamps, it'll appear at the top of the screen every time you uh, beat a level, which is kind of cool. And anyway, we've got another interesting level. I actually like this level coming up. Well, not this one. First, we have to go down here and go to the uh, Mushroom House and grab another cat suit power up because the cat suit it. It's amazing. I love how you actually climb on a gift. I like that. It seems like in this game you can climb on everything. Maybe not everything, but it seems like almost everything you can climb on. Which I like about that. Because I know a lot of games that introduce a like, climb mechanic, you can't climb on everything. But in this game, it seems like you can just climb on everything. I was, I was actually quite happy to pick up this game. This is actually the uh, first game I picked up after getting my Wii U. First, what my first actual game being uh, Wind Waker HD, which I probably already explained earlier. But yeah, this is a great game, a fantastic Mario game, and I'm actually looking up, looking to pick up uh, Sonic Lost World next. I think this could be my next uh, pickup. I don't know. I had this like craving to play Sonic games lately. Good ones, like I said, good ones. So yeah, I like this level a lot because it has to do a lot with the shadows. Like right here, or like, you think it's right there, but you actually have to go back and find it. And some really other, really cool mechanics coming up here shortly as well. Another cat power up. I'm a coin whore, if you understand, because I have to get like every single coin I come across if I can. Uh, I just want those extra lives. So we got some interesting new little uh, piranha plants. These one shoots fireballs. They gave like a different design. So I like that about them. They give them like a different design, so you can kind of tell them apart from the other ones. I believe there's other ones that shoot out like blue fireballs, I believe, but there's not too later on. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think there are ones that shoot out blue fireballs. Yeah, little shadow in the background you're seeing there is actually going to come in play soon. Watch this. So you're going to step through this door. And I get a shadow! Which is really cool. Some coins here. Just be careful here. Those guys will take away your power. And another cat power up. Grab that stamp. And of course I have to come up here and be awesome. I always like doing that little backflip. They do. When like you run and you jump backwards. I love that. It just makes you look cool. Now what I do here. Is I stupidly run up here and try to hit it. And I forgot those things can actually hit you. But anyway. Another green star here, another bonus room. Hit this, it shows a shadow, and run down there and grab the green star. Simple. Like I said, they get a lot trickier later on. This one I did not like, um, where you have to jump on a bunch of uh, piranha plant heads. I hated that one. Oh, uh, it took me forever to do it. I'm like, I can't land on the stupid heads correctly. Ah! So the last green star is going to be over here, hidden with Captain Toad. Nah, it's just a wooden Bowser. Suck it up, buddy. Suck it up. And there you go. That's your final green star. Now time to move on. So we got all three green stars, and we got the stamp of this level. And we're going to get that fancy gold flag. Because we have to be fancy. So I think, like, every world, I'm just going to switch out characters. Like, I'm going to, like, do, like, you know, after I've played through all four characters, switch back over to Mario, and then switch back over to Luigi, and so on and so forth. Oh, it keeps it interesting. I don't know, if that's what you guys want me to do, let me know. I was actually going to, after this level, I was actually going to wrap up the episode. 
But I was like, you know what? Let's do another level because why not? Because I like to be fancy and I like to make my videos kinda long. So anyway, let's come to this house over here. This is just another free stamp for you. I believe that stamp is another fairy. I think you, I think they're like fairy houses, I believe. That's what they're called. They're official titles. Because all I ever give you is like fairy stamps. So, I don't know. I do like the saving menu when you pop up the little 8-bit uh, Mario. Oh, nice throwback. Oh, this is what I was thinking about wrapping up the episode. I was like, you know what? Let's just do this level. And pray to God my controller does not die on me again. But seriously, folks. Charge your controllers before uh, uh, recording any videos. I like this level a lot, actually. This is why I missed the uh, green star. The last one. Because I'm a derp. But I like this level a lot because they introduce like the roll pads. Well, not introduce them because you saw them in the first level of the game. But they kind of went like more crazy with them. There's your first green star. Make sure you have that cat suit power up. If you don't, you can always come over here and grab one. I believe, right? Yeah, you can always come over here and grab one. You can definitely tell when a level's like suited for a certain power because that's the only power up they'll give you. <laughs> Like some levels, like here's the fire flower. You're probably gonna need this. Like, okay, I'll take the fire flower. Sometimes I won't because Katsu's just too strong. I said strong. That's right. I said strong. <laughs> Got a problem with that? No, no. So yeah, pretty easy. I come back here just to check around, just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Of course, I gotta grab those coins and a baseball. Gotta get that baseball. I don't know why, but I like using this baseball a lot. Just throwing it at people's heads. It's like, yeah, take that. My baseball, go away. Get your own. My fancy object. And of course I lose my baseball. Like a derp. Now I'm all sad. A moment of silence for the baseball, folks. A moment of silence. So yeah, nothing really interesting here. I caught up here looking to see if anything's hidden up there. But nothing. And of course, th that's the one side effect I have with the cat suit. The one thing I don't like is when you try to just jump into somewhere like small, you always seem to cling to the wall and you just don't want to cling to the wall. I don't know. Other than that, I have no other complaints about the cat suit. I mean, I like this game just the fact that it brought back my favorite power up of all time, the, uh, the Tanuki suit. Well, the raccoon tail. I don't know which... See, I understand that Tanuki suit is, like, full-on Tanuki. Now he transforms into a statue. It's kind of the whole thing. But, I don't know, I just call it kind of the Tanuki suit, just because, you know, Tanukis. I come over here and check just to make sure I'm not missing anything important. Nope, I'm just killing everything in sight. Other than that, I hop down this pipe, and there is another green star for you here. So yeah, this level is I miss out on the uh, the next green star, which I'm kind of upset about. Cause I, I forget where it was. I'm like, where the heck is it? Like, where is it? Ugh. So I just kind of moved on and ran away. I guess I'll go back and just on the next video, I'll add it right at the beginning. Showcasing where the uh, last green star is. Like, I think that's a good idea, right? Just show off where I missed the green star on the next video. Show you where it is. In case you can't find it. See, I'm thinking it's like down here. Like, you see those little platforms? That's why I go back. I'm like, should, should I hop down here? Should I hop down here? No. No, maybe. I think it's a level that tries to trick you and believe that it's a pitfall, but I don't think it is. But anyway, we're coming up to the end of the level and end of the video very soon here. I'm gonna grab that mushroom and I'm gonna get that flag. So I hope you guys are enjoying the LP so far. I enjoy doing it. Um, I love getting back into Let's Playing again. It's, it's always fun to do. So uh, hopefully you guys stick around and follow me through this Let's Play. I'm going to definitely 100, try my best 100% this game and get it all the way through. No matter how painstakingly hard it gets. <laughs> anyway guys, I have been your host Vicious. And I hope you enjoyed the episode. And I will catch you guys on the next one. 
which is going to be episode 4, which we continue up World 2. We're actually going to go and do that uh, interesting little uh, question block house there. But anyway, I'll see you guys later. Peace!